Hi folks. This video details a young pilot's amazing adventure. Flying solo 1,350 miles from Florida to Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Now sit back and enjoy this inspiring story. Have you ever dreamed of climbing a snow-capped mountain? Soaring into an alpine valley? Or reaching a goal you thought was unreachable? Most accomplishments begin with a dream. Aaron's dream is to complete a solo flight from his home in Merritt Island, Florida to Oshkosh, Wisconsin to experience the annual Experimental Aircraft Association, EAA, Air Venture Air Show. Aaron is a mature 23-year-old private pilot who flies a very mature Piper PA-17 Vagabond airplane, which was already 50 years old when Aaron was born. Months prior to leaving for Oshkosh, Aaron is making early morning preparations flight planning, equipment testing, and even some in-flight camera work for cross-country flying. Aaron's plan is to fly short cross-country hops on his way to Oshkosh, with stops for fuel, visits with friends, and the occasional weather delay. Right, clear. Careful planning and preparation are the keys to making a dream become reality. Com check. Loud and clear, how me? Same. You're same, loud and clear. All right, I'm ready to head out when you guys are. Merritt Island Airport. Automated weather observation. One, zero, three, zero. Zulu weather. Wind calm. Visibility, one, zero. Clear below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, two, three, Celsius. Dew point, one, niner. Altimeter, three, zero, two, zero. All right, pushing 100 degrees on the oil temp. Ready for the run up. Next to Rich. Aaron performs his standard run-up procedure. About 1,600 RPMs. Left. Both good drop. Right. Both good drop. Temps and pressures look good. Carb heat. Nice drop. And idle check. Carb heat's off. All right, free and correct on the controls. We got plenty of fuel. Burning on both tanks, seat belts tight. Doors locked, windows open, trim set for takeoff. We're ready to roll. Good morning, Merritt Island traffic. Yellow Vagabond taking off 2-9. Mixture's rich, carb heat's cold. Find the center line. All right, here we go. And a bird sitting on the center line. He'll move. Alright. Power set. Fails up. Better crab into the wind a little bit. A little drift from the south. Dang, that looks sweet. You should see the view from up here. What a beautiful sunrise. There it on traffic. Yellow Vagabond midfield left downwind. There's 65. Feeling a little drift from the south. There's 60. And we'll start looking for the wheels. Yeah, Wayne said that uh, that first landing wasn't good enough. He wants you to get you on the next one. All right, I'll get on it this time. <laughs> this is what is known as B-roll. It keeps the cameraman busy while waiting for the next video shot. 
Merritt Island, Yellow Vagabond, left base, 2-9. All right, there's 70. Looks like we got the runway about made. Out of 400 feet or high. Okay, the cameraman says he wants to get you on a takeoff roll with the sun behind him here. So in other words, a standard takeoff on 29. Sounds good. Right on traffic, yellow vagabond taking off 29, stay in the pattern. Merritt Island, Yellow Vagabond, left base, 2-9, full stop. Alright, there's 70. There's 60. I think we're ready. Merritt Island traffic, yellow vagabond, taking off 1-1. One, one. We'll be at westbound departure on the downwind, Merritt Island. All right, everything's full forward. We're out of here. Merritt Island traffic, Cessna 5505, Romeo, uh, holding short, runway 1-1 for departure. All right. <laughs> we going to Oshkosh. Leaving the islands of Florida for the lakes of Wisconsin. Merritt Island, Yellow Vagabond, one crosswind. One one will be departing the area to the west. Merritt Island. Now flying over the Banana River. Merritt Island, Pilatus 567 Elf Fox, shot departing runway 1 1, left downwind departure to the west, northwest. Alright, we're rocking and rolling now. Turkey turn in short point on runway 11. Here is the Indian River with the Florida mainland just ahead. Fair on the shot, 5, 6, 7, off Fox off runway 11, left crosswind, got uh, the crosswind on that one, copy and so far. Hi folks, we're the ground crew. My brother Wes and I are, we're gonna travel on up there to see Aaron, who's going to Oshkosh, and we're gonna catch up to him in just a minute, as soon as the radio stops beeping. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Wilson traffic, yellow vagabond, five miles southeast, joining the left downwind, uh, we'll be landing two, three, Wilson. All right, that looks Wilson like Wilson Unicom, go ahead. Rest. Yeah, hi, this is Fort 2 Sierra. I'm, I'm going to be buying some gas at the self-serve, and I need to put some air in the tires. Oh, uh, let me see if I can find an air compressor. Okay, thank you. Wilson traffic, up here for Meridians on a uh, nine-mile uh, final, runway 2-3, practice uh, RNAV 2-3 approach, the speed of full stop Wilson. Got the uh, runway in sight, fast. Traffic on a nine mile final. That's gonna probably interfere with us. Mixture's rich, carb heat's cold for now. Fuel's flowing from both tanks, seatbelt's good. Trim feels about right. Let's see if we can get a wheelie here at Williston. Wilson traffic, yellow vagabond, is one mile southeast. We'll be doing the left downwind, 2-3, full stop at Williston. Meridian, 
be in on final at Williston. How far out are you? Uh, we're showing uh, four and a half miles for uh, Radian. Radian, roger that. I'm going to go ahead and extend my downwind for you and let you have the runway. Okay, we're looking for you. Uh, are you on the downwind right, uh, right now? Yeah, I'm on a close in tight uh, left downwind for 2-3, yellow vagabond. Wilson traffic, uh, part from Radian, two mile final, 2-3 on the RNF, uh, practice RNF 2-3 approach to a full stop, Wilson. And uh, you all, Vagabond, we have you uh, in the pattern there, which is coming up about uh, one and a half mile off. I got you inside, Meridian. Alrighty then. There's our traffic. Lewis in traffic, yellow Vagabond, turning left face, 2-3. That's the Meridian screaming out in front of us here. Maybe a little bit of wake from him. Oh. Wilson traffic, yellow vagabond, final, 2-3, full stop. All right, car beats hot, mixture's rich. We're still fast and high, but we'll start looking for about 65 here. Meridian's touching down. He was on the numbers. There he is. Almost. No wind. I don't feel anything. Whatever it is, is straight down the runway. All right, get her slowed down here. Yeah, the we'll vagabond is a uh, short final two three Williston. Uh, we'll be clear shortly here from two three. Yeah, thank you, sir. I'll just keep it flying until you're clear. Yeah, we're clear from two three. Yeah. Find the wheels. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. Over back over here, back over here. There we go. Williston traffic, yellow vagabonds clear of two three. Alright, cool. First fuel stop. All right, here we are, headed northwest between Cross City and Perry, on our way to Bobby's Strip, just north of Mariana. We've got about an hour and 25 minutes to go getting up there. Uh, just was cruising up at 6,500 feet and started picking up some carb ice, so I dropped down here to 2,000 underneath this little puffy cloud layer. Got a little bit of weather on the XM radar out to the west, but I think we'll get clear of it here shortly. Uh, we're gonna go around the north edge of Tallahassee's airspace and then into Bobby's place. About another hour and a half. All right, nine miles out from Chipola Air Park. About five minutes. Good flight up here, see if we can find this little grass strip. So if I follow this road, there's an intersection, and then just after that, I should see it. All right, we're two and a half miles away. Chipola Air Park, Yellow Vagabond, two miles to the east. We'll be making a left downwind for runway 18, Chipola. All right, where is this place? Coming up on that intersection of the road here. Automated weather observation, 1714 Zulu. Wind 240 at 04. Visibility 10. There it is. Just about past it. Full air park, yellow vagabond directly overhead. We'll uh, circle back for a left downwind. Funny. Cool, man. What a beautiful strip. Holy crap. 
heats hot. Mixture here, it's fuels on both. Seatbelt is good. At the runway in sight. All right. Nice. Put that tower right over here. Clear of that. Little nose up trim. Looking for about 65 here. A little bit fast and high, that's all right. Aaron is doing a low pass to check out the grass airstrip. Looks good. All right. Got to see what it looks like. Now we got carb heat hot. There's 65. Go ahead, get in here. Looks nice. Morning. Morning, Wes. How are you? Good. Okay. You're the uh, star of the morning here. Yeah, what I was thinking, see, I'm going to just get over here on the other side of the runway with the sun behind me. So I got you this way. It's time for a little drone flying with Aaron. Aaron is topping off his fuel for his next flight leg. All right, well, here I am at Bobby and Kim's place in, uh, in Greenwood, Florida, and just north of Mariana, a beautiful grass strip that they so kindly invited me to stop in at and uh, gave me some great southern hospitality on the first leg of my trip. Um, so I had about a three and a half, four hour ride up here from Merritt Island yesterday with great weather. And today I'm making my way north, um, headed towards Tuskegee now and, uh, you know, hopefully towards St. Louis, but we'll see how the weather pans out. It's not looking so great today. And then up towards Oshkosh one way or another. So uh, the airplane's doing great. She's uh, fueled and oil topped off and ready to go and we already did a little bit of flying this morning just to play on this grass strip here so it's been a great trip so far and and can't wait uh, for the rest of it Next stop is St. Louis, Missouri.
Meet me in St. Louis, Aaron, meet me at the air park. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I appreciate your comments. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.